Hi, this is Teresa Wagger from Premier Design Websites. Today I'm here to help you learn how to upload your sitemap using FileZilla FTP. Now, a lot of people want a sitemap on their website because that's one of the things that Google Tools requires, a way for the Google and other uh, other search engines to discover your all the pages on your site and help to control what the bots are looking for. So you need it's a necessary thing on your website. Uh, there are a number of places you can create them and what I'm going to do is taking the sitemap that's already created under sitemap.e.xml and we're going to use FileZilla to move it to your website. So first of all we need file, we need to get a hold of FileZilla and we can do that. Go to google.com how we put it there and just type in FileZilla and you'll get this it'll come right up first you want to click on download so you can download it and just follow the directions here on this page that tells you how to download it okay now when you're done downloading it you'll want to go to your desktop because that's where it'll be hiding okay then just double click on it to open it all right, now here's FileZilla on the left hand side. You will see what's on your hard drive or on your desktop. On the right side will be where your remote site is. So it says local site, which is on your hard drive, remote site, which is on your server where your website will be. So I want to go, I'm going to go to the website that I'm working on. Mine's called Blog Kickstart. And if you scroll down a little bit here, you'll see sitemap.xml. And that's what I want want to move over to my server. So now you need to set up your server. Go ahead and go to um, file and go to site manager and you can set up a new site and to set up a new site um, you want to make sure you go if you're using something like HostGator um, make sure you're which is what I'm using right now be sure you use the um, the main login, uh, if you have multiple domains on it, you still have one main login that you use. So you want to put your host, which I have here is TWConsulting.com, your username and your password, and then you click connect. Oh, and make sure your login type is normal. They start It starts out as anonymous. You want to keep it as normal. That's the way most of them used to log in. And the server type is FTP. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. So let's hit connect. Oh, and look, here's our remote site. Now, to get to your, to where your website is, you want to scroll down a little bit. Uh, most, a number of the hosting providers put it under public HTML. Uh, if you don't have this way, sometimes it's under, um, it's usually under something that says HTML, but you've usually been directed by to where your site will be located. So go to where your site is hosted. Now here is blogkickstart.com, so we'll click on that. Now this is the root of my website. This is where my index.html file is sitting. There you are. And I'm going to move this sitemap. This is an old sitemap. We'll move this sitemap over. All you do is click on it on the left side and move it to the right side. Make sure nothing's highlighted. Like if I if I highlight it over recordings there, it's going to go in there. So you want to keep it out in the middle of the space. And it's saying it's replacing it. I want to say OK. Anyway, so now you have your site map at, on your site. So let's, I can very quickly go back to our page here. I'm going to do www.blogkickstart.com slash sitemap.xml. And there you go. You can see the file is there. So you're good to go. Now, if you would like to register this with Google, just you want to do a search for and what this is is Google Webmaster Tools. You can just go to Google again, Google. Here we go, and do a site for Google Webmaster Tools. You can even add sitemap on there if you want. Okay, and here we go. Click on Tools. Now you want to add this site to Google Webmaster Tools, add site, and we're going to do www.blogkickstart.com, hit continue, verify ownership, 
I'm going to do that first. And uh, that's the easiest by just adding a meta tag to your home page, which I have not done yet. And you can do this with HTML. So once you've added that into your index file, index.html, edit your index.html file and add that file. After you've added that to your website, to the index.html file, I want to click Verify and you've uploaded that so now you can see that. Now the place where you want to put your sitemap says submit a sitemap. Click on that and I want to hit submit a sitemap. It's going to ask you the sitemap's name which is sitemap.xml. Submit it and it sees it and now it's in the process. Okay, so that's all there is to it. Thank you for coming to learn how to upload your sitemap using FileZilla FTP. And we also threw in there a little bit with Google Tools too. So this is Teresa Wagger from Premier Design Websites. Have a great day.